Here's a little video about the buses in Florence. This is one of the older ones. It has three doors, followed by one of the newer ones. They went to a two-door two style. This is one of the newest ones. This is one that was maybe about seven years old now. Mercedes, two doors, kind of like a North American style bus. This is one of the smaller route buses. This is a little Mercedes. Low floor buses, uh, they allow the wheelchairs on them. Uh, so many different styles of buses here and door configurations. This is another older style bus that has, you know, the arrows to enter, exit in the center, enter in the back. But I, I think they're just for amusement because uh, nobody respects any of those arrows. This is another one of the newer buses here. It's now owned by a French company. So it's kind of interesting. They're private here, they're not government. What else we got going on here? This is the terminus for uh, the Tranvia down here, downtown. Just close to the uh, train station, Santa Maria Novella. So it's kind of an interesting place to hang out because of all the activity going on here, especially transit activity. We also have a bunch of uh, hybrid buses here. This is a Mercedes hybrid. This is probably four or five years old. I've been on those, they're very nice. Now this is the part I find that's really funny, is there's signs that say, don't enter at the back doors, enter only at the front. These buses were a few years ago, and the drivers never bothered to enforce that, so of course people just get on whatever. And with COVID, they prefer that you actually went on at the rear door, so now there's a lot of uh, that still going on, where the driver prefers that you just go through the back door. Also, if they ever get a wheelchair or strollers, they want you going through the back door, because that's where the position is to, st to stow them. But I've yet to have seen uh, a wheelchair on any of these buses. They don't have any bike racks, so a lot less headache for the driver. This is one of the newer, smaller buses. They're really cute. They uh, take wheelchairs, low floor, really cool. This is kind of interesting too. Uh, this is at the Santa Maria Novella train station in downtown Florence. This clock on the side of the train station. This is uh, apparently, it still works fine. Uh, this building was erected during uh, the times of Mussolini. Mussolini, so it's uh, pretty old, but still, you know, they update everything in it. Pretty functional. Just another transit kind of thing, being on the train station. Now we have the latest addition to the transit fleet in uh, Florence. They decided to go back to the original three-door design where, you know, you can get in and out through the uh, front and back door to enter, but, and then not supposed to go through the center, but, you know, the drivers don't care, nobody cares, so they just go through whatever door. I don't even know why they bother to have uh, designations on the doors as to whether you can go in or not. People don't respect them, the drivers don't care. <laughs> so it is. This is one of the little Mercedes buses that goes around the, the tighter streets in Florence, one of the newer ones. This is just outside of the train station in Florence here. They have a fleet of these uh, car shares. These are gas, but then they've also got ones that are electric. And this is the newest member of the fleets they have here. These things look like they're made by Lego. I haven't had the uh, good fortune to be able to rent one of these. You need to have a phone with data, you need to have an Italian uh, ID and all that. So the chances of us getting to be able to use that are pretty slim. But uh, there's always a workaround. It's interesting, you know, this shows the cars 
vacant right now. It's got a green light flashing. They're just really plastic. I don't know how these things would survive a crash, but uh, almost nothing for a, a back seat. Pretty interesting nonetheless though. As you can see, it's got a different license plate on because it's electric, I guess. Looks that way. Yeah, there we are. Anyway, that's what I thought was kind of interesting to uh, to get a, a view of. So here I am, your fearless reporter in Florence on the, uh, what is today? Uh, I don't even know anymore. I think it's about the, uh, the 11th. I think it's the 11th of uh, January today. So we're here for another week and uh, enjoying the beautiful weather. And as you can see, there's lots of activity going on around us. Just a nice day to be out and about. More if it gets interesting. Here's the taxi line up over here. Uh, not too many cabs here today. A lot of times it's backed right up. I don't think it's that busy here. Anyway, that's all for now. Ta-da!